Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Under the Radar, a place where we discuss your favorite basketball players and hoopers inside and outside the NBA. Today's story is about Dyson Daniels. Now, ladies and gentlemen, why are we talking about Mr. Daniels here? Because he is one of the top international prospects in the 2022 NBA Draft. Now the question that we must answer in today's video is how did Dyson go from dreaming to be an NBA player into becoming one of the best prospects in the upcoming 2022 NBA Draft? Let's roll the clock a bit. Dyson Daniels was born on May 17, 2003 in Bendigo, Victoria in Australia. Dyson started playing basketball at the age of 7. Dyson grew up in a country town in Victoria called Bendigo. His dad, Ricky Daniels, is an American who came to Australia to play basketball after playing at NC State. His mom, Brikita, is an Australian who has played volleyball and tennis before she had Dyson and his brothers. His older brother, Kai, was also playing basketball at Regis University, a NCAA Division II school in Colorado. Dyson also has a younger brother in Dash who has been identified as a young talent as he has been named to the Victoria Country Under-16 team for the Australian Under-16 Nationals. This is what Daniel had to say about his support system. Both of my parents have helped me a lot to become the person I am, Daniel said. It's really good to have them and I get pointers off them. My biggest support system is my family, my close friends, close coaches and the things that I have like that. Growing up in Bendigo, Dyson was a standout at the junior levels earning selections to the Victorian country teams at the Australian Nationals, and in 2018, he represented Australia at the Under-15 Oceania Championships. And just a year later in 2019, he started playing in the NBL1, a semi-professional basketball league for the Bendigo Braves. The NBL1 was Dyson's first taste of semi-professional basketball, and matching up with bigger bodies was very advantageous for him. But Dyson's stock began to soar as soon as he moved to Canberra with the NBA Global Academy later that year, just like Under the Radar member Josh Giddy before him. Dyson is very thankful for the entire staff from the NBA Global Academy program, including the coaches, trainers, and everybody involved for the chance to be a part of the program. Competing in various tournaments in Europe and in America was very paramount to his development, and he learned a lot of crucial off-the-court lessons in addition. This is what Dyson had to say about his experiences in the NBA Global Academy. I've changed so much. The person I am, the confidence I have now, the coaching that I was able to get there was phenomenal. We had excellent coaches there as well. Going in there as well as the height of 6'2", I was a little scrawny kid and coming out I've got a much bigger body and I had a huge growth spurt and that helped me because I was a point guard and I already had those skills and it helped me being 6'6 to still being a point guard. So just building my body, building my life skills, building my basketball, they've helped me to be able to see the floor better and I think IQ is something I've always had but they've helped me to use it more and to use it to my strengths and I've learned so much from them. Dyson is poised to become the second player in NBA Academy history to be drafted and the first was fellow Aussie Josh Giddy, and he had been tight with Josh ever since the duo's under 12 days playing for Victoria and Dyson was actually very thrilled and very excited when OKC picked Josh up with the number 6 pick in the 2021 NBA Draft and this is what Dyson had to say about that. It was huge man, I've known Josh for a while and seeing him put in the work when I was with him in the NBA Academy and then get an opportunity to play in the NBL with the 36ers and he excelled there and he deserves every bit of it and it was really good seeing him being drafted and all. And it was really good being able to play alongside him as well. That's my boy and I'm happy for him. The progression for Daniels at the academy actually paid off this past February as the Australian senior national team brought him in to be a part of the FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers. In his only game, Daniels actually led the team over New Zealand with 23 points, 6 steals, 4 assists, and 3 rebounds. And this is what Dyson had to say about that. That was really big for me as well. Being able to play for the Boomers in the Asia Cup qualifiers at such a young age, and some people don't get that opportunity, as Daniels would say. So obviously, to be able to play, but to be able to also have a really good game, that got me world looks, and it helped me to get noticed. 
I'm grateful for the opportunity from Adam Caporn to be able to play for the Boomers. Dyson's momentum didn't stop there either as he was a critical contributor for the Boomers under 19 squad in the FIBA Basketball World Cup, averaging 14 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 4.6 assists along with 2.3 steals over 7 games. While also spending time with the Boomers, Daniels actually developed a relationship with former NBA veteran Matthew Delvadova, and it's ironic because he remembers being an 8 year old attending a peak event where he ended up doing basketball drills together with Matthew. And fast forward to today, they're now teammates representing Australia. And Daniels actually gets advice from the champion guard when he asks for it. The little guy from Bendigo hasn't done too bad for himself and the fun part has just begun. And Dyson is preparing for his first season at the professional level, which is another step towards his NBA dream. And this is what Dyson had to say about his mindset. I always want to be in the gym. I always want to be the best I can. And I'm sure some people have them about mmm as well. But I don't want anyone to outwork me. I want to be the hardest worker there is, as Daniels would say. It's a great feeling. I think in terms of feeling ahead of people, I wouldn't say I do. There's options for everyone so that everyone can choose and like what they want to do with their careers and that. But choosing a professional career for me, I think it was the right choice and I'm ready for it. So yeah, I'm ready to get started and I'm very excited for it. Dyson's standout performances in the NBA Academy and in international tournaments and his unlimited potential has made him one of the best high school basketball players in Australia and one of the best young hoopers internationally. And Dyson was getting interest from Division I schools like Arkansas, Colorado, St. Mary's, University of California, and Georgia Tech. Dyson also got professional interest from the NBL's Next Star program and the NBA G League Ignite program and Dyson decided to go pro with the NBA G League Ignite program as opposed to committing to a college or signing with the popular NBL Next Stars program that was pretty close to home, a route that Dyson was extremely close to picking. Dyson said, I was almost certain on it before I got offered to go play on the G League Ignite squad and I was almost certain on going to the NBL, Daniel said. That's obviously a very good pathway as well. We've seen it with Josh Giddy and a few other players. But I think the overruling factor was talking was having a few Zoom calls with former Ignite head coach Brian Shaw and the G League president Sharif Abdul Rahim and them telling us about the development you're going to get on and off the court and you're going to be busy all day doing basketball things and helping to go get better life skills and stuff like that. But yeah, I think I made the right decision and I'm ready to get started. Dyson will be joining the likes of Michael Foster, Jaden Hardy, Scoot Henderson, Marjan Bashamp, and Fan Bozeng as a part of a highly regarded Ignite squad. And Dyson became one of the best players in the Ignite squad with averages of 12 points, 5 assists, 7.4 rebounds, 2 steals, and 0.7 blocks per game. And Dyson would also participate in the 2022 NBA All-Star Weekend and the Rising Stars Games for Team Barry playing alongside Under the Radar members Kate Cunningham, Evan Mobley and Franz Wagner. Dyson Daniels has solidified himself as one of the best international talents with mid-lottery potential. The big guard slash wing from Australia has all the tools both physically, mentally, and a very intriguing upside. At the height of 6'7 and a half in shoes, he's got great size for a guard with a very solid athleticism. He is a quick twitch athlete and he has quick feet and hands and a lot of bounce to pair up with that. Although he's not a high volume shot taker, he's got a solid shooting form and should become a knockdown shooter in time. Dyson's shooting mechanics are great but he just needs to improve his consistency with both game time and practice reps. And Dyson actually has some point forward abilities and a very good feel for the game and for setting up his teammates and I would expect Dyson to be a secondary ball handler when he gets to the league. And what really stands out? for Dyson here is his defense and he might be the best perimeter defender in the draft class or at least one of the best. He gets low to his stance and he has amazing footwork paired with great hands and he plays with great ball positioning. And he's young and he has a lot of development left to go but looking ahead a few years he could potentially if his development is right could be one of the best two-way players in the league. 
and if I had a clear-cut player comparison to Dyson, it would be Lonzo Ball. I'm not saying that Dyson is as good or better than Lonzo Ball, but I see the similarities in their style of play because both players have similar heights of 6'6", and they mainly base their games from defense and unselfishness and passing. And like Lonzo, Dyson was actually more known to be a playmaker coming into the NBA rather than a scorer. All that Dyson needs to improve on is his handles and shooting consistency, so he can evolve from a secondary ball handler into a versatile player who can do it all. And as of the recording of this video, Dyson is projected to be a top 10 to mid lottery pick because his draft stock actually went crazy after his amazing run in the NBA draft combine. So Dyson, good luck in the draft my man, God bless and stay safe to you and your family and I cannot wait for June 23rd. So ladies and gentlemen, make sure to hit that like button and make it turn blue if you enjoyed today's video. And hit that amazing red subscribe button to join this amazing, growing basketball family with new basketball videos releasing every single Friday. And I do not want y'all to miss it. God bless, stay safe, enjoy your weekend with your family while watching the NBA Finals, and see you all next week. Bye-bye.